Hi, my name is Corinne from Style Haven. And um, today I wanna talk to you about tailoring tricks of the trade. So I am an onset tailor, which means that I do majority of my work directly on set. Um, I usually go in, fit the model or the celebrity, do the work either in the hotel or right there on set and the piece is in front of a camera, on a red carpet, on live TV within a couple of hours, sometimes minutes. So I don't have time most of the, of the time to do things the correct way. Um, so we have to figure out tricks to make things look great, but fast. And this is a trick that we do that I love um, and it's definitely something that you can use in your everyday um, sewing room and it is hemming like a button-down shirt using um, buckram all right so what you need to do this task is a piece of buckram um, you can about a yard is fine and it should be about an inch to an inch and a half. I like to have it a little bit wider so that I can do different lengths on, I can get like two lengths out of one piece. All right, you need some type of marking utensil, either chalk or a pencil or a pen, some type of marking utensil, a scissor, a measuring ruler or measuring tape, whatever you use to measure. And I'm gonna use a piece of fabric today, um, but of course you need your shirt that you are going to hem, all right? So once you get these pieces, let's get started, all right? So when you get your buckram tape, like I said, it's gonna look just like it is on the top. And you can take something sharp, you can take a sewing needle, a straight pin, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you're gonna pull the little threads out. So if you take a needle and go in there, you're gonna pull the little threads out and you see. And you're gonna do that about 10 threads down. It depends on how wide you want your hem to be. And about 10 is an average dress shirt. And you're gonna pull that down. You're gonna keep going until your teeth look like it does on this side. Until, until it looks like so, all right? Then you're gonna put that to the side. And you're gonna take your piece, your shirt that you're gonna shorten. And say you need to shorten it a inch and a half. You, you wanna shorten your shirt an inch and a half. What you're gonna short, what you're gonna cut off, you're gonna mark, you're gonna mark what, an inch and a quarter. So you're gonna leave a quarter on your fabric. So we're shortening it an inch and a half. I'm gonna march, mark an inch and a quarter all the way, all the way over. Just making sure. So I've marked an inch and a quarter all the way down. And then I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so now my um, fabric is ready to go onto the machine with my buckram. So I'm gonna take uh, the buckram that I have the teeth exposed with a quarter of an inch, and you can definitely pin this on, but it's nice and like agile, so you don't have, it, it really works nicely um, with the fabric. 
So with, if it's a cotton, I don't usually um, pin it down. Sometimes if it's a silky fabric that moves around a lot, I'll um, pin it down. But you can usually hold it nice and stiff um, to the fabric and it won't go anywhere. Um, so I'm not going to pin it as when we go over to the machine. So let's go to the machine. Okay, so now I'm at my machine and I have the buckram lying right over um, the fabric. And I am going to choose a um, smaller stitch because I want the teeth, the, the, the stitch to hold with the teeth. So I'm gonna use like a 2.25. And we're just gonna go ahead and stitch straight through the teeth. And as you can see, we're just using a straight stitch. And you want to make sure you're staying on the teeth and not on the um, on the buckram that's not pulled. All right, so if you can see here, we've sewn right through the teeth. And let's just move this camera back a little. Um, you can see, I'm gonna flip it over and like envelope the buckram inside so it cause it, it forms a hem on the, on the fabric. And this is exactly where we're gonna stitch. We're gonna stitch right we're going to edge stitch right along the edges still staying on the teeth of the of the buckram not on the the tightly woven part but on the teeth and this is going to form our hem you can use a larger stitch for this one um, it should be pretty secure, but you also don't want to pull too much because remember your teeth are, are loose and you don't want to pull it off of your fabric. All right, now it's sewn on. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? This is the fun part, I love this part. You're just going to rip the buckram off. Just like that, like it's so satisfying. Look at that. You have a hem. All right, let's press it. And there you have a beautiful hemmed shirt. <laughs>